Hey guys, welcome back to DCS, and welcome back to the DCS F-18C Hornet. That's a nice looking old tanker down there. Okay guys, so today I was doing some touch and go practices, some VFR landing practices on this airfield over here. So I decided to make a video for you guys on uh, visual flight rules uh, landing patterns. Now this is going to be similar to what you do on the aircraft carrier, the landing pattern is very similar. Um, we're going to go ahead and land on that airfield over there. Uh, now before we get into the landing, let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, diagram. Now you guys are going to have to forgive me, that's a crudely drawn diagram by myself. So the landing pattern starts with this. You'll enter the landing pattern with uh, 350 knots and 800 feet above the ground. Once uh, your wingtip passes the end of the runway after 10 seconds, or roughly one nautical mile from the end of the runway, you'll begin a turn with 1% of the force of G to your equivalent to your uh, airspeed. So for example, if you're doing 250 knots, you'll pull a 2.5 G brake turn and then you'll end up on the uh, downwind leg with a speed of 250 knots and 600 feet uh, altitude above the ground. Now it's very important to maintain one and a half nautical mile lateral distance to the runway which will affect your final uh, turn to your final approach. Then you'll drop your landing gear, your flaps, maintain an 8.1 degrees AOA and then you'll turn with a uh, bank angle of 30 degrees to your final heading, maintain a negative 3 degrees uh, descent rate and then maintain 8.1 degrees AOA and no flaring. Now you guys can go ahead and pause this diagram and view it at your leisure and we'll go back to the actual landing. So welcome back. So as you can see we're flying to the side of the runway. We're not going to be overflying the runway directly. We're just checking to see if it's clear and we can see that the uh, runway is clear. Now this is the end of the runway. You want after 10 seconds that your wingtip passes the end of the runway or roughly 1.7 nautical miles from the center of the runway one mile after the uh, your wingtip passes the uh, the runway you'll begin your turn. It's important to maintain your uh, your headings very correctly and then once you're about 1.7 to, to 2 nautical miles from the center you'll begin your turn as you can see right here. Uh, now it, the, the whole 1% of G thing is designed to basically uh, set you up on a nice uh, downwind uh, um, reciprocal heading so that you can uh, do your 30 degrees uh, turn to final. So here we are on, on, we are on, the, uh, on the downwind leg. Now once you deploy your flaps uh, the aircraft begins to balloon. It actually balloons quite, uh, quite violently. I'm not sure how accurate that is for fly-by-wire aircraft, but nonetheless. So here I'm trying to maintain, uh, basically get on AOA. So I'm trying to put the flight path marker into the middle of that uh, E-bracket, and there we go. We get our orange donut. So now we're on uh, our AOA of 8.1 degrees. Now it's important to, it's very, very important to maintain your reciprocal heading, guys. That's very important. It's going to affect your turn, how good your turn will be at the end, down to final. So maintain your altitude around 600 feet, 550, 600 feet. Um, now you have to do a lot of this to be proficient at it. Like you have to do a lot of uh, landing practice, landing pattern practices and landings like that on an on a airfield before uh, you can get good at it. It's not something that's that comes very easily. Now once basically your aircraft begins uh, passing the end of the runway or the start of the runway, you can begin your turn, your 30 degrees bank uh, turn. Now if you look at the bottom of the HUD, that in indicates our uh, bank angle. So we're roughly at 30 degrees, 30, 35, 30 degrees of bank angle. Now we'll increase the throttle just a little bit to maintain the, uh, the, uh, the flight path marker just below the uh, horizon line. Now I'm looking at the runway, I shouldn't be doing that. This, this, this is uh, this is where you do all everything the turn and everything in a in one smooth move. You wouldn't even need to look at the uh, the runway or the aircraft carrier. Now this is not too bad. This isn't too bad uh, of a uh, approach. As I said, you need a lot of practice to get uh, good at this because you're going to have to watch out for a very diff uh, few different uh, things while you're doing it. So here we are. We are on AOA and we're on a nice approach. There we go. And there we go. We're almost close to touchdown. And there we go. Touchdown. That's it. Well, guys, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed uh, watching this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.